Hello, everyone. My name is Huang Xian Quan, or you may just call me Tony. Um, Tony Huang. I am the project manager of Taiwan Association of uh, Disaster Prevention Industry. So it is an honor for me today to be invited to the webinar today and uh, share the information about Civil IoT Taiwan with you. So let's share the screen and show you the presentation. So let's go to next slide. Here's the synopsis of my presentation. First of all, I'm going to talk about the main purpose of Civil IoT Taiwan project. Afterwards, I will show the four environmental areas that the project focuses on. After we have brief understanding of the Civil IoT project and the practical usage of its technology, I will introduce some of the companies that participate in this project. I would love to share more companies with you, but um, due to the time limit, I can only pick some iconic companies and their IoT solutions for you. Nonetheless, please feel free to ask for the link uh, to our Civil IoT Taiwan service and the solution guide website. Uh, please, next slide. And next slide. And you can see here, um, the website has more details about what I am about to mention today. And by the way, the link to the official web page of Civil IoT Taiwan is on the homepage of the guide website. Um, it's just for your information, so feel free to um, go to the website and see what you want to see. And next slide. All right, let's get started. Firstly, we should know that with the continuous advancement of technology, modern people are no longer unfamiliar with vocabularies like big data and uh, tech AI technology. Digital management and smart devices now have become the main mainstream of technology development in order to make our daily life more convenient. The concept of the Internet of Things, AI IoT, is more and more ubiquitous in modern society. In the AI IoT uh, era, appliances become smart and are able to interact with people. The rapid development and the popularization of smartphones are another reason why modern life is closely related to IoT. While technology is developing at high speed, the relationship between humans and nature is more important than ever. The environmental problems caused by industrialization, urbanization, and the natural disasters, such as air pollution, water pollution, earthquake, flooding, and drought, are now the mutual issues faced by nations around the world. To cope with these issues, the Taiwan Civil IoT starts with big data, IoT, and AI technology to promote comprehensive digital management. Um, with the technology mentioned, we are able to meet our needs in four environmental areas. Um, please, next slide. Here are the four areas. These are the water resource management, air quality control, earthquake and building uh, structure, and uh, disaster prevention. With the effort, hopefully we can pe peacefully coexist with the natural environment in this digitalized era. And uh, now we have known what the four areas are. Let us, let us see a bit more about the solutions in each domain. And next slide. First, we're going to see the water resource management. And uh, as we know that the uh, water resources can be categorized into feed water, sewage water, and uh, reclaimed water, the three companies that are shown on this page each has its solution for water management. And uh, what kind of problem we may see while managing water resources? Think about it. The old pipelines that are too complex and difficult to repair if there is any leakage. It would be such a 
troublesome situation to cope with. Uh, on the aspect of water usage management, people cannot track their water usage precisely and efficiently since it is done manually. Moreover, without real time data report of the water level and pollution situation, it would be difficult to identify problems right uh, after it happens if there's anything goes wrong. And uh, now, next slide, let's take a look at one providers of the water man managing solutions, Fenry. The name uh, of Fenry's solution is Wastewater Monitoring Service of Industrial uh, Area. Its three main features are, the first one is real-time monitoring of sewage dis disposal, data automatically uploaded to the cloud, and there is no need to waste additional staffing and last manpower wasted. And the second one is no more paper, and uh, the data goes to the cloud uh, automatically, so the IoT is going to be used to store the information. And then the third one is big data analysis. The AI allows the platform to manage water resources with uh, AI analysis. As the image shown, image shown on the slide, you can see that the real-time information is de delivered in the control room on the platform. And there will be alarm and uh, line notification when the quality of the wastewater exceeds the standard, the safe standard. And the alarm and notification allow the staff to understand the situation instantly so the issue can be resolved as soon as possible. Fenry's cloud smart operation management platform can save at least 10% electric power while reducing 30% of maintenance band power. It's quite impressive, isn't it? And uh, I know that I spent a little bit too much time on water management, so I'll be moving a little bit faster on the other three domains. And let's move forward to air quality control. Next slide. Okay. So the service of air quality control can be categorized into outdoor equipment, indoor sensor, and software development. The first two are usually hardware equipment, and then we'll need an online platform so it can be a total solution. Air pollution is now a severe problem in many countries. Besides indoor air quality sensing devices, there are several outdoor practical fields for air quality control, such as schools, factories, and even on the street for every terminal consumers or maybe sports training uh, project, something like that. And the air quality total solution I would like to introduce to you, um, please next slide. Yeah, it will be the collaboration uh, between Cameo and uh, Incense. Incense provides the hardware equipment to detect water pollution, while Cameo develops the online AI platform to analyze the data delivered from Incense's outdoor air detectors. The total solution has helped the Taiwanese local government identify the factory gas emission that exceed, exceeded the standard. With Cameo system and uh, incenses, IoT sensors, the number of suspicious targets can be narrowed down by 50%. And the service assisted the government's environmental inspectors identifying 178 con uh, factories by 2019 to 2020. The system effectively increased the audit efficiency of the inspectors. Now it's time for the earthquake. Next slide. Yeah, the earthquake and the building structure. There is only one company in this area, which is Sunlian. Its hardware sensor can help people know the impact of vibration to the building structure. Next slide. Yeah. 
So it can help to uh, help people know the impact of vibration to the building structure and early warning the potential damage. Sunlens product is compatible with IoT systems, and it has already been working with two other Taiwanese companies, uh, which are P Waiver and uh, HEX, for years in order to develop a uh, total solution in earthquake uh, detection and uh, warning system. Its total solution has been tested in the countries like uh, France, uh, New Zealand, Japan, Philippines, Mexico, India, Indonesia, Singapore, etc. So it's quite uh, it's verified in multiple countries and it's still developing to become more localized in different countries. And uh, I believe that in the Asia Pacific um, areas that almost that a lot of countries having earthquake problems and maybe they'll need something to uh, know the building structure and to evaluate if the structure is fine. And next slide, we're going to see the disaster prevention. So it may be different due to the various natural uh, dis disasters occurring in different countries. Um, but in this part, we're going to talk uh, about um, three different practical fields. Uh, you may be a little bit confused and think that um, earthquake is kind of natural disaster as well. How come it is not cat categorized in this section? Um, it is because the uh, practical fields are more specific in this section and the earthquake is more likely uh, specific to earthquake and not to a more general section like this. And uh, so the first solution in this uh, section is smart building. And the second and the third one are for the site slope protection. And the last one is road uh, flooding detection, road and river flooding detection. And uh, in the last section, allow me to introduce you to building safety and disaster prevention. Uh, please, next slide. It is the smart building total solution from Delta. The reason why I chose to introduce this solution is its compatibility. The smart building system is compatible with most of the IoT hardware equipment. And um, you can see here it can uh, install the air quality sensors, fire alarm, vibration sensor, water quality monitoring system, and much many more. And uh, all the hardware after they are installed, the the hardware can connect to the software system online, and uh, it allows the keeper of the building to monitor both indoor and outdoor environment information in real time. The conclusion. So I would like to share a brief conclusion about the project of Civil IoT Taiwan. The goal of this project is to achieve the harmony between human and the nature. The technologies we have been developing can not only improve our life quality and conveniency, but they are also able to help us preserve the environment. We live in an era of choices and decisions, and I certainly hope that our decision can lead to a better future. Thank you very much. Thank you for your listening. And uh, if you have any questions to ask, you may send an email to us. And uh, if you want to ask for the slides, you may ask, um, well, you can also send an email to us, or maybe you can ask uh, from OCF. And uh, if you need a link, um, yeah, both, both of us, OCF and the TADPI, we're both able to share the link with you so you can see more details about the Civil IoT Taiwan uh, services and solution guide online. Thank you so much.